Hi and welcome back to the Waters and Ackland YouTube channel. In this short video I wanted to take a, a look at the 1412 chair. This is an incredible chair made here in the in the workshop made by our headmaker Tim Smith which presented all kinds of technical challenges. It's an amazing piece of work and so I thought I'd spend a little bit of time talking you through the kind of main element of making this chair which is the laminating process and laminating and bending round a former. Now if you look closely at the chair you'll notice that there's one particular component which takes a quite an extreme curve and it, which is an extreme bend and that's the leg component that both forms both the front legs but also wraps round the back of the seat and this is quite a complex bend and it, re and it really was a technical challenge. It also took lots of hands on deck to get this done and as you can see in the video all the students that, who were in the workshop at the time and all as makers were all helping with this major glue up and you'll see all they're doing here on the screen is using West System epoxy resin. Uh, they're applying that to all the veneers that make up this component and if I remember rightly there's about 80 layers of veneer within this component so that takes quite a lot of time to get the glue onto the component so lots of hands on deck lots of people helping out and it's just a simple process of getting that glue on as fast as we can so that you can then get it into the the vacuum bag so you can see on the screen it's a bespoke vacuum bag which we kind of build up as we go along so it's kind of wrapped uh, and then it will be it'll be sealed uh, and then when the the pump is turned on the air's drawn out as I'm sure you're aware and atmospheric pressure starts at work and that pulls the veneers together but the idea with this form of laminating is that the, vac the vacuum bag starts to pull the layers together but this it still allo allows a level of manipulation and what we do is we take that vacuum bag that all those layers of veneer it's about they're about two and a half three meters long for this bend and it, the, 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 the vacuum bag starts to pull them together, but we can still manipulate, manipulate uh, the veneer around a former. And that's what you can see here. It's quite a, it's quite a, simple, for, uh, quite a simple former, but there are key points in that former that Tim needs the bend to, to hit. So it allows a little bit of, 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 of natural bending around the former, but there are certainly key points, uh, datum points at which uh, Tim needs uh, the, the laminated form to hit. But as you can see we needed lots of people on this job, we also needed lots of lots of cramps. Uh, the veneers are being pulled together by the vacuum bag and, and these cramps are just to, to pinch in certain areas that we feel might be a bit a bit loose within there where the layers aren't quite meet, uh, being pulled together and they're also to make sure that the, the bend is quite symmetrical. If you look down a centre line it's quite symmetrical. Uh, and that it's pulled down at those key data points. And so this all, this all happens, and it's epoxy resin, so with the slow hardener, you've got a bit of time to, to manipulate this uh, and, and to make sure that it's right. And this, you'll see Tim and, and Graham working hard to, to cramp it up and make sure that all those key points are met. And as long as the layers of veneer were pulled together tightly and the glue's gone off, and the former has done its job and the cramps have done its job and the, the, the veneered uh, form has been pulled around that former tightly, then we'll have a, a successful bend. And then the next part of the equation is, is very technically challenging. It includes all kinds of shaping and jointing. But I just wanted to show you this one major bend for the 1412 chair. It's the most significant bend in, in the chair and it's, it's a really beautiful form. So you can see in the video that Tim's releasing it from the former now and then he's just going to unwrap it from that bag and hopefully the form that he had in his mind and that was on the drawings will be there and, and, and ready to, to shape and joint. So I, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it's been informative. If you do appreciate what we do here at the Water and Ackland Furniture School and on this YouTube channel, it'd be great if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. That really does encourage us to make more content, which hopefully you're enjoying.